Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy and the Daisy Editor. And in this video, I'm gonna be looking at custom brushes, what you can do with them and how you can create your own. So if you're using Daisy Editor at the moment, you're probably very familiar with sort of just taking objects and then spawning them into the map and then saving them as a custom JSON uh, perhaps and, and using them to, on your custom community servers. You may well have completely ignored the brushes uh, at the top. Now, if you're on console, these don't really do anything in their vanilla state, but if you're on PC, if you click on uh, Piscean Mature, so Mature Pine Tree, and then click and drag across the map, you can paint in um, a forest and trees it's very very cool um, and then you can export these as as like a custom JSON or as a uh, an init.c sort of thing however as I said this uses the builder objects for these trees so we can't do that and, and add them in into console however there are certain things you can do especially on console um, so for example what I created were some snow um, brushes so if I just adjust that to about that and then drag this across the map here we go it's getting a bit closer you can see this is snow if we go snow deep like this and basically what the brush does it kind of spawns in um, whatever you've chosen to be in the brush in kind of a bit of a randomized uh, grouping and you can adjust the density and you can adjust, adjust the radius so it's a very very cool tool indeed um, and you can have basically anything in as a brush anything that you can search for just remember that if it says builder in front of it that won't spawn in on console so if you want to create a custom brush one of the easiest things to do is if we just get rid of all these, um, let's get rid of all that. Um, and I don't know if we can get rid of all these trees as well. Let's have a look. Can we get rid of all that? We can get rid of that, can't we? Um, what you want to do is you want to create... There we go, so we just blanked it. You want to sort of create your brush by just dropping some things into the map. So let's say um, we wanted to create a... Um, it'd be like a, a wreck brush. So let's have a look. So we wanted the bus. I wanted the larder. And we wanted the harvester. And we wanted another car. So we wanted to make a brush that would spawn these in so you could kind of make some kind of um, scrapyard out of them. Um, now you could just copy and paste these into the brushes file. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to export them um, and then we're going to look at that export. But before we go any further, what we want to do is I just want to show you where the brush file is on your computer. So if you go to the documents folder on your computer, maybe on C, maybe on D, uh, you, and you'll find the Daisy directory, the Daisy folder. Now, this isn't the Daisy program folder. This is this is the information folder. And if you go into it, you should find the editor folder. And within here, you will find all your exported JSONs and um, events files and XMLs and stuff. But you'll also find the brushes uh, folder, which is a uh, brushes file, which is editor brushes. And if you just open that in your favorite text editor. Uh, you'll see something like this. So here we go. So you've got the brushes here. So brush name Pinus Young. So as you can see, so Young Pine Tree, and then you've got all the objects that, that it spawns in. So in its simplest form, if you want to create a custom um, brush, you can just look at the names of the objects and then just paste them over the, uh, for example, the tree. Obviously, make a copy, then paste them over. So you give the brush a new name, and you could paste them over the top. Then you have frequency and the Z offset. So the Z offset is the height of the object above and below ground. Now, for trees, obviously, they start off below ground because that's where the roots are. But with other brushes, you're going to have to play around with it. For example, with my snow ones, for the deep snow, I had an offset of minus four through to the light snow I had an offset of minus six so the snow light was basically a slightly deeper garden plot hologram 
so not much of it showed so let's let's just go back to daisy editor but the problem is lots of these things have complicated spelling so one of the easiest way to create a brush is actually to, to place some things down and then go file export and you could do it as export as object spawner so um, uh, .json like so and then we'll call it um, scrap brush names okay so we're just going to export that and then if we go back to the fold the daisy editor folder we should see down here so scrap brush names .json. so we can now open that up within notepad and now we've got the names you see of the stuff we want to use so if we just go back to editor brushes um, and then let's just so what i've done is i've copied my snow light brush and i've just pasted it up here so let's move that closer so what i can do now is i can just take land group land rec icarus copy Uh, let's paste that in, say, twice. And then we've got Landrec Larder Green. Let's copy that in twice. And then we've got Landrec Harvester. Copy that in twice. And then we had Landrec Follow Blue. Now remember again, if you're on console, you can't use any of the builder items because they won't spawn in. So it's, it's the other stuff you can use. If you're on PC, you can use the builder items. You just got to make sure you load up the builder mod on your server. So then let's then get rid of those. Now, what's probably going to be wrong at this point is the uh, offset will probably be wrong, and then we're going to call we're going to call the name Scrapyard, and then we save that. Go back to the editor, and then if we go editor reload brushes, we should see we have another brush Scrapyard. So we can select the Scrapyard brush. Um, Let's start off with that and let's just paste it in there we go <laughs> oh dear look at that so now they're a little bit close together aren't they so let's make the brush radius bigger there we go they're all kind of bash bashing into each other aren't they how about if we made the density smaller oh there we go so they're more spread out now probably not quite as good do something like this so we've got the radius is 45 density is about half let's zoom in they're all kind of bosh bashing into each other aren't they so density down brush radius bigger let's see what that does let's go over here Oh, some of them are going underneath the ground. That's the problem. There we go. But hopefully that gives you an idea. Now, that's a bit of a strange example with the um, with the vehicles. Um, and I guess the limit really is your imagination, especially on console, where we don't kind of have um, the ability to... Um, spawn all the wonderful uh, builder item stuff in so you're gonna have to have a play around and you're gonna have to see what works with you and see what wonderful ideas you can come up with and as you come up with the wonderful ideas you know please um, share them in the uh, in the comments section down below um, so that you can maybe we can come up with some great ideas together I mean this all looks a bit weird a bit surreal doesn't it look at these see the offset is wrong with these because the buses are in are in the ground I don't know where the cars are gone. Well, there's some snow. <laughs> um, but it's a lot of fun. Um, big shout out, obviously, to um, 
Increment Dab for creating the Daisy Editor, this amazing tool that we have. Um, and uh, yeah, there we go. So share your ideas down below. Hopefully you found the video useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.